Hello class, today I'm going to show you how to make a character using Kerpoof. First, choose the scene that you would like. I'm going to choose this scene right here. A new window will appear. What I'd like you to do is click on the square to maximize your window. That makes your window bigger and your picture bigger. Now we are going to begin by drawing our character. What you want to do is click on this pen tool and a new window will appear. This is where you will draw your character or object. Before we do that though, I did want to show you some tools. The first tool that I wanted to show you is the pen tool. You click on this tool and you can begin drawing with the pen. The next tool I wanted to show you is the paint bucket tool. I can click on the paint bucket, choose my color, and paint with the paint bucket. The next tool I wanted to show you is the hand tool. You can use the hand tool to move parts of your drawing around. And finally, I wanted to show you the eraser. Click on the eraser and you can erase parts of your object or character. Okay, now I want to clear this out and start fresh. So I'm going to click on this clear and this allows me to restart my drawing. I'm going to click on the pen tool and I'm going to click on black. To choose a color, what I have to do is press and hold. So let's pretend that I want green. Right now, the color that's selected is black. I know this because in this rectangle, I see black. If I want green, I have to click and hold on green until in this rectangle, I see the green that I want. And now I can color or draw green. Now let's pretend that I draw an object and I don't like what I did. What I can do is go over and click on undo. And that will undo the last thing that I did. You can also click on redo if you really didn't want to undo that. But I did, so I'm going to click undo. I did also want to show you line thickness. Here is the line thickness bar. Right now my line is very thin. It's a very thin line. If I want to make my line very thick, I slide this slider all the way across and now my line is very thick. Now I want to show you the shape slider. The shape slider is pretty cool. Let me show you what that does. So I'm going to move the slider all the way down and I'm going to try and move this line thickness in the middle. I'm going to draw a triangle. My triangle is pretty good. It's not perfect. If I want to make a perfect triangle, what I do is I move this slider tool all the way up. And watch how perfect I can draw a triangle now. Pretty cool. Kerpoof detects that I'm drawing a triangle and it makes it perfect. The same thing works with circles and squares. So if you want to make a perfect shape, then move this slider all the way up. I'm going to undo my last steps by clicking on undo multiple times until I'm back to a clear blank sheet. Now I'm going to select the color black by pressing and holding on it. And I'm going to draw a circle. Now, if you don't close the circle, it won't be perfect. So right now it's perfect, but if I don't close the circle, it's not going to be perfect. You need to close it. So I'm going to click undo, and I need to draw a circle with one stroke 
and now it's perfect. I'm going to click undo. Now another thing, if you don't close the circle, so let's pretend you didn't close the circle and you want to paint inside the circle, let's pretend I want to paint inside the circle orange, what happens is that paint spills to the background. The reason why is because it escapes through that little hole. If I paint inside this closed circle, it's contained inside that circle. Okay, enough talk. I'm going to begin working on my character. I am going to erase this guy right here. Now I'm going to draw the eyes of my character. I'm going to click on the pen tool and press and hold on black. And I'm going to add little dots for the eyes. And I'm going to click on the paint bucket and press and hold on white. And now I'm going to click on the pen tool and press and hold on black. I think I'll make a triangle for the nose. And I'm going to make some crazy triangle hair. Oh, I didn't like that last one. I'm going to click undo. There we go. And I'm going to make a rectangle body. Or actually, that's a square. And triangle arms. You don't have to make triangle arms. You can make it whatever shape you want. And I'm just going to add uh, lines for the feet or for the legs and then circles for the feet. And now I'm going to begin coloring. Remember, you want to close all the shapes. Otherwise, it will spill on the background. And you really don't want color on the background. Okay, so I'm going to click on the paint bucket tool, and I'm going to click on press and hold on red until my inside the square is red. And I'm going to color parts of my shape red, parts of my character red. I'm going to press and hold on purple, and I'll make him have purple hair. And I'm going to press and hold on blue. And there's my character. I really like my character. And I think I'm about done. So I'm going to click on Done. And now my character appears. I can make my character bigger by clicking on the arrow. And I can make my character talk by clicking on this talk balloon. Hello. My name is Bob. Now if I want to edit my shape, I can click on my shape and click on the pen tool again and I can go back and edit. So let's pretend that I wanted to make the nose a different color. I can click on the paint bucket and I can make his nose green. And then I click done and now his nose is green. 